Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to have you here at this uh, momentous event. I'm Joshua Powers, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs at William Patterson University. And it's my honor and pleasure to welcome you, our graduates, your families, and guests to the 197th commencement exercise of the William Patterson University of New Jersey. We also extend greetings to those who are watching the live online broadcast. Well, members of the graduating class who are serving or have served in the military forces and those in our audience who are serving or have served, please stand. Thank you for your service. Will everyone join them and stand for the national anthem? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last evening, whose bus shines and bright stars through the Thank you and please be seated. I'm pleased to introduce members of the platform party. To my left, Dr. Ian Marshall, Interim Associate Dean of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. And to my right, Mr. Brad Neely, member of the Board of Trustees. There's only one person I can think of who was more excited than I was at the prospect of being here to celebrate all of you in person. And that is William Patterson's president, Richard Heldobler. Unfortunately, President Heldobler was traveling out of state when New Jersey unexpectedly updated its guidance on quarantining upon return to the Garden State. So while he returned to New Jersey immediately, he has to remain at home for a few more days to the ensure that he is being safe. Um, he is watching now, however, so he is with us. He asked me to share with you the following remarks on his behalf. Hello to the resilient William Patterson class of 2020 and all the family, friends, and loved ones who are here to celebrate with you. I'm sorry that I cannot be with you personally on campus to mark this wonderful occasion, but I am thrilled that you are there where you belong, on your campus, at your university. In this most challenging of years, you should all be especially proud that you were able to stay on track through the disruptions of the spring semester in order to earn your degree. That is why I refer to all of you as the resilient class of 2020. If, as you have already demonstrated, you can accomplish your goals in the face of grace adversity, then there is nothing you can achieve in your new careers, at graduate school or in whatever endeavor comes next for you. I also want to be sure to recognize the many people who helped you all get here today, to the family and friends who have supported our graduates from the very beginning and many sacrifices to help you achieve your dreams. Thank you. You all deserve an honorary degree. Our graduates wouldn't be where they are, and William Patterson University wouldn't be what it is without you. Of course, I also want to recognize our terrific faculty and staff who teach and support our students and keep them on track to graduate. Thank you for your commitment and dedication 
The pride that all of us in higher education feel on days like these is what makes this work so very rewarding. While we made the most of our virtual commencement in May, there is a reason I was so committed to holding this series of in-person events as soon as it was safe to do so. You have all worked extremely hard to be here today, and many have done so against especially great odds. That level of persistence and achievement deserves all the recognition you can bestow on it. And that means you having the opportunity to walk across the stage, accept your degree, and be recognized, congratulated, and cheered on in person by your family and friends, your classmates, as many faculty as staff as we could safely accommodate. And while I'm disappointed that I cannot personally be there to bestow your degree, please know that I'm with you and applauding you in spirit. I'm cheering for you and will continue to do so as you go out in the world as a graduate of William Patterson University. I know there will be much to cheer. You now have achieved something that only 30% of Americans have, an earned degree. That degree represents the experience and skills that you have gained in your time here. That it was earned now in 2020 will be a further testament to future employers and the world that you persisted during the greatest pandemic of our time. In whatever direction you head, the world will need the kind of talent and dedication, the willpower that sustains you through to this day. Your local communities and your state need you. Your nation and your planet need you. We need you to help revitalize our economy and strengthen our government and civic organizations. We need you to help prepare and heal a divided country. I know you can and I know you will through the careers you choose and just as importantly by simple everyday actions in your homes and in your neighborhoods. I want to leave you with a reminder of what I like to think of as Hell Dobler's last lesson. I shared this in my remarks in May, but it bears repeating. It is basically my variation of the golden rule common to religions and value sets everywhere. You have heard me say that of all the successful people I've had the privilege to meet in my life, not one has ever, ever attributed that success to a new iPhone, a PX90 Beachbody, or any other gadget or image enhancement. Every last one has credited a family member, a professor, or some other mentor someone who treated them the way that they, in turn, would have wanted to be treated. The way they surely were treated by an earlier generation of teachers and guides. In short, success comes down to people. What we learn from them and what we do for them. This pandemic has taught us hard and valuable lessons of the heroics of our first responders, the need for good science, the economic and health disparities in our communities of color, and the fragility of life. May we all learn from these lessons and honor our frontline workers in our hospitals, in our schools, in our stores, and in our communities. It is my hope that you will all use your degree to work toward a more equitable and just United States. This credential will open doors that are closed to many, but that you will now walk through. Will you hold it open for those who follow? Make intentional choices to be with and be there for the people you care about and who care for you. And now that you're set to become the newest alumni of William Patterson, I hope you will share your, your rapidly accumulating wisdom with those who will come after you. Be active in our alumni association and stay connected through our visits, through visits and social media. My hope for you as you travel through life is that you spend time nurturing the personal relationships that will continue to sustain you. I also hope that you make a habit of finding time to laugh, dance, sing, eat good food, enjoy the ride, and always choose kindness. I am so proud of all of you. Congratulations.
I would now like to introduce Mr. Brad Neely to offer remarks on behalf of the Board of Trustees. Trustee Neely? Good afternoon. I'm Brad Neely, a member and committee chair of the William Patterson University Board of Trustees and I bring greetings on behalf of the entire board. I am pleased to be here today with you to celebrate this important day. As a member of the Board of Trustees, I don't have the day-to-day -day joy of being among you students or watching you as you grow and progress through life in your journey. What I have instead is the great honor of sharing this day with you. Only you know how hard you work to attain your degree. Only you know the sacrifices you have made to get to this day. The missed parties, the missed computer games, the missed moments with family and friends, especially this year with everything going on. Only you know how difficult the spring and summer have been for you and your family and challenges you have had to face and overcome. What I do know and want all of us to know is that you have faced those challenges and you have made the right choices to succeed. You're here today due to your own hard work and due to the support you receive from your friends, your family, and the excellent faculty and staff of William Patterson University. I congratulate you on all that you've accomplished. Let's give yourself a round of applause. On this, this day, you're entitled to take a moment to recognize this great achievement. In fact, you're entitled to celebrate with social distancing and masks and everything that comes along with it. And as you celebrate, I ask you to think carefully about your next steps. You will make many important decisions in the coming days, weeks, months, and years. I encourage you to include this important question as you think about the future. What can you do to make the world a better place? I know this from my own work and the opportunity to give back. Your community needs you. It needs your talents and your dedication. We need all of you to be your best selves. As President Hal Dobler has says in Be Kind, be kind to your families, to your friends, and your coworkers, and to strangers. Yes, be kind to that person who cut in front of you in line, or who took your parking space, or even your bar seat when you go out for a cocktail. Now more than ever, we all need more kindness and good feelings from each other. And it starts with each one of us. The person you see in the mirror each morning as you start your day and make that choice. For life is about choices, and consequences. The Board of Trustees is proud to recognize you on this day. We look forward to hearing your stories of success and joy as you start the next chapter in the journey of life. But remember, William Patterson University, and come back, off, come back often, and remember to wear your mask until we're out of this mess. Thank you. At this point, the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Joshua Powers, will now present the candidates for degrees. Thank you, Trustee Neely. As recommended by the faculty and certified by the Board of Trustees, I am pleased to report that the candidates about to be presented have completed requirements for their degrees during the academic year 2019 to 2020. Mr. Neely will con confer your degrees after all of you have come forward to be recognized. Please return to your seats after receiving your diploma cover and remain seated until all have been recognized. I will now ask the candidates for a Bachelor of Arts to come forward to be recognized.
Carrie, yeah. Carrie, Cami, Jamila, Lambert. Eduardo, Eduardo Alvarez. Alvarez. Mikhail Zakaria Shajanan. <laughs> Kerry Walter Shorts. <laughs> Mariah Elizabeth Jenkins. Alexander James Madonia. Charday Lanice Conover. Colleen M. Lorenga. Jamira J. Gordon. Shakia J. Balmer. Anili Agudello. Alicia Alejandro. Angeline Christian Plummer. Fatou Dabo. Stephanie Lynn Shutt. Vanessa Almanzer. Lauren Marie Finicaro. Zachary Bryce Bunasi. Nishik Ohanian. Oku Kochar. Stefan Kyle Schwartz. Juan Pablo Aguayo. John Atul Ferdus. Ronnie Alberto Hernandez. Audrey Marie Spath. Kevin William Miller. Wilman A. Diaz.
Lincoln Alexander Hurtado. James A. Henry. Oscar Uel Rivera. Anthony S. Perkins. Lisbeth Ortega. Ryan Patrick Murphy. Jessica Stigliano. Doitsu Amarani Aguilar. Steve Avella. Maria Udalina Vasquez. Cameron James Allen. Amber Lynn Vermellen. Joanne Monique Jones. Samantha Ambert Hayward. Amanda L. Alvarez. Stephen Nagamine. Brian Philip R. Castillo. Hassan Deshaun Williams. Sharam Homayan. Emily Jane Bartlett. Brianna Jasmine Bobian. Eric Tiro. David R. Zentino. Allison Taylor Toman. Daisy L. Arzola. Frankie De Jesus Cruz.
Kimora L. Brown. Destiny Lee Rivera. Ariana Leonor Rogers. Carolina Arango. Jasmine Ziki. Jessica Asensio. Javon Goodman. Marilyn Lisbeth Baratia. Noah Price. Jerome White. Tangila Mabub. Vanessa Luis Barino Cajes. China, Kyrie Williams. Malik Ibrahim Best. Tania Stephanie Watkins Bell. Jamel Chambers Silas. Luz Mazzy Gonzalez. Stephanie Perez. Manuela Correa Restrepo. Tyra Frazier. Christian Rafael Veras. Alexandria Patrice Forrest. Samia Jashan Epps. Kevin Correa. Asja Janine Williams. Tiana Katrina Brown. Sierra Darche Terry.
Aris Raynell Paulino Marcado. Gisette Jaime. Ashley Andrea Metz. Janae Smith. Tanaya Lachey Gellert. Tanaya Lachey Gellert. Gellert. Tanaya Lachey Gellert. Selena Chang. Annabel Guzman. Lynn Harwell. Guerna Nerva Pierre. Trustee Neely, uh, as recommended by the faculty and certified by the Board of Trustees, I am pleased to report that the candidates about to be presented have completed requirements for their degrees during the academic year 2019-20. All the degree candidates have now been presented. Will the candidates for bachelor's degree who are, who are eligible for Latin honors, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude, please rise. Please stay standing. All these honors candidates merit special recognition for the high level of academic accomplishment they have attained. Will all the remaining bachelor's degree candidates please rise and join them in standing. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the William Patterson University of New Jersey, I confer upon each of you the degree you have earned and for which you have been recommended with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. You may move your tassel from right to left. Round of applause. And thanks to the audience for all those applause and uh, extra sound effects. <laughs> the, <laughs> the recessional will now take place, led by the platform, myself and the platform guests. The new degree holders will then enter the recessional following us as we leave the stage. Mm -hmm. 